In this lesson, we'll take a look at V-Ray for Grasshopper. In the Grasshopper window to our right, let's go ahead and click on the V-Ray tab. You will notice here that we have four panels for the V-Ray geometry, lighting, materials, and rendering. If you hover over each icon for a second, a tooltip will pop up on your screen, showing details and explanations about that particular feature. Let's go to the V-Ray geometry node, then right click on the node and select Help to reveal more information about that node. Then close the help window. Now, notice these little dots. They indicate a V-Ray specific parameter input or output. A V-Ray specific input can only be connected to a V-Ray specific output that shares the same name, and vice versa. For example, a V-Ray camera output can only be connected to a V-Ray camera input. Next, let's pan around and move to our rendering nodes. Right-click on the render node and let's choose Render from the menu. You'll notice that the V-Ray frame buffer is empty now because we haven't loaded any objects in our scene. Let's pan again to locate the Sphere node and then connect it to the Geo input of the VGeo or V-Ray geometry node. A Sphere object then loads in the frame buffer. Now, let's try connecting the Inbox node. Drag the inbox output to the geo input of the vGeo node, and now you'll see that a cube loads in our frame buffer. You'll also see that the sphere node was disconnected. Let's hold shift to connect the sphere node to the vGeo node as well, so we can preview both objects in our render together. You can pan in the Rhino viewport to look at your model as well, and notice that the interactive preview updates as you move around. Now, let's stop the interactive render and go back to Grasshopper. Let's turn off the visibility for both the sphere and the cube. Next, navigate over to the Lighting and Materials nodes, which we have already prepared to use for this project. Let's turn on the visibility for the rectangle light, and you will see that it appears in our Rhino viewport. Now, turn it off, and let's also see the sphere light in the viewport. Let's hide that light too. Finally, navigate to the rendering nodes again, and locate the camera node. Unhide it, and then back in the Rhino viewport, zoom out to see the camera pointing at the center of the grid.